Hey everybody, Special Agent Nat here with the Blackwater Bandits, and today we're going to continue our Rare Weapons series of videos and talk about melee weapons. You can find various rare melee weapons all over the world of Red Dead Redemption 2, and we're going to show them to you today in no particular order. If you come across a dead bear in the woods that you did not kill, take a closer look because you may have just stumbled across the antler knife. And we're going to take a closer look at it here. As you can see, things did not go very well for this particular bear and hunter, but you get to benefit by picking up this melee weapon. You can find it here in the middle of the woods. It is north of the Hanging Dog Ranch up in the Grizzlies. It's not quite as easy to stumble across the broken pirate sword. First, you're going to want to get yourself a boat. You can find one right here at Crawdad Willie's. That is south of St. Dennis and Rhodes. And you're going to go out to this island out here. That's where you will find the broken pirate sword. And yes, it is in extremely alligator-infested water. So stay in your boat. Get out right where you need to. Be careful walking over to where the sword is. And bring a weapon just in case you need to shoot some gators. You'll find the sword in this little boat wrecked in the swamp. looks like having the broken pirate sword didn't help the guy in the boat and it will not help you against the gator so make sure you also have a real weapon on you if you are looking for the pirate sword next we're going to take a look at the civil war knife you will find this under an old fort it is abandoned. There is a little log building with a cellar that you can climb down and you will find the knife sitting on some of these crates that are down here. There is also a civil war hat here with the knife. Sometimes you'll find hats and melee weapons together so always take a careful look around before you leave an area and watch our video about rare hats and you know where to find them all. The fort is located north of St. Dennis, next to the river, south of the Van Horn Trading Post. There are lots of different hatchets in this game. You'll find them scattered all over the map, uh, sitting in various logs. This one is in the middle of absolutely nothing. It's northwest of Wallace Station. It doesn't really look like an area that you would examine. There's like an old stone chimney here. But in front of what used to be a house, you will find the double bit hatchet. Look in tree logs. A lot of these hatchets are just stuck randomly in those. And here's a closer look at what the double bit hatchet looks like. All hatchets are throwable weapons, so be careful when you're using it. Make sure you're actually aiming at something before you go to use it. We're going to take a look at the location of another hatchet. This is the Hewing Hatchet. And you will find this near Moonstone Pond. There's a little cabin. And as usual, the hatchet is buried in a stump. And here's what it looks like close up. The same story goes for the hunter hatchet. You'll find this just south of Window Rock near a path. It's in front of a cabin and it's also inside of a stump. The rusted double bit hatchet is actually in Ansburg. It's right on the outskirts of town to the north 
next to the path you'll see a, a whole business and there is a hatchet buried in a log in front of the, one of the little buildings out there. You won't get any heat for picking this up. Nobody actually cares. It's just a rusted hatchet. So go ahead, pick it up, add it to your collection, and you found another rare melee weapon. You'll find the rusted hunter hatchet at another cabin. This one's a little bit harder to see. It is pretty deeply buried in the stump. This is between the path and the railroad tracks to the west of Ansburg, almost directly west and just slightly south. That's where you'll find the rusted hunter hatchet. If you want 100% completion of the game, you will want to go after all of these rare melee weapons, even if it's a bunch of different hatchets buried in stumps. You will need to get these uh, for your 100% completion. Not everyone can get the stone hatchet. The stone hatchet is only obtainable after you complete a specific mission in GTA Online, and then you'll be able to find it here in the world of Red Dead. If you don't have GTA Online, maybe you know someone who does, and you can log on to your Xbox account and play that game. You can do the stone hatchet mission on day one. You don't have to do anything special or reach a certain level before you can play it. So if you are able to get on GTA Online, Play that mission and you'll be able to unlock the stone hatchet here in Red Dead Redemption. The stone hatchet is right in the middle of a Native American burial ground. It's a very distinctive area, so if you see this, then you know that you can run over here and get the stone hatchet if you've done that mission in GTA Online. You'll find it in West Elizabeth, above Lake Owangila. In the same area, you can find a cave. It's actually an old mining tunnel. And if you go into this mining tunnel, you will be able to discover another rare melee weapon and a pretty cool hat, which once again, you can watch our hats video to learn more about all the rare hats. So, go inside the mine, pull the plunger to blow up the entrance, and then you'll be able to crawl through the tunnels and get to a man who's not so fortunate. You'll find him lying on the ground with the rare knife in his back. So you'll just remove that and add it to your collection. anything up to find the ancient tomahawk. It is out in the woods north of the Native American reservation. Right along the trail out here and you will eventually come upon an, an interesting looking site. There's a target set up out here, and buried in the target is the ancient tomahawk. The Viking hatchet is in the old tomb. You'll find this hidden in the forest. It's not too far from the path though, so you may be able to stumble across this on your own. And if you go down in here, you will see the hatchet right in the main part of the tomb, kind of underneath the stone. We assume it's the altar area, perhaps where sacrifices were made, perhaps with this hatchet. And you'll find this in Roanoke Valley. This is north of Ansburg. Look for it along the river. There are some fun melee weapons that you can actually purchase from the fence. You can get a machete and a cleaver. You can also get a machete from some of the Lemoyne Raiders down in the swamp. So 
when you pick one up, you won't have to buy it. Otherwise, you can just get it from the fence. It's pretty cool looking. And if you're trying to collect all the weapons, this is one you're going to want to have. Here's a look at the cleaver. It's another throwable weapon, like the many hatchets that we collected today. In case you need another throwing weapon. And who, you know, you can never have too many, right? So go ahead and add this one to your collection when you get the chance to. The final melee weapon you will get is given to you as your reward for completing one of the collections. You can learn more about that in our game completion video. We hope this video helped you and that you were able to get all the rare weapons that you want in Red Dead Redemption 2. Please subscribe to our channel and you'll learn all the secrets of Red Dead online and story mode. And thanks for watching. We are the Blackwater Bandits.